All right, this is going to be video one in a review of chapter two for Workplace 30. And come on. Oh, there we go. This first video is going to talk about accuracy and precision. So on my screen and on yours, you can see this white page. And if I asked you how big a piece of paper is, most of you would know it's eight and a half by 11. If I asked you to measure that distance, what would you tell me? Well, first of all, it would depend what you were using to measure it with. But hopefully you would tell me eight and a half inches in some way, shape or form. Why? Because that is accurate. Accurate simply means correct. If I asked you to talk about the accuracy of a measurement, the only way you can do that is if you know the true value of it. If I say, hey, I just measured the table in our office and I got 3.1 meters. Was I accurate? You can't know that unless I give you the true measure of that. Precision, on the other hand, has to do with that last decimal place. If you measure this and you get 8.5 inches, your precision is half an, or er, hang on. Your precision is a tenth of an inch. That's going to talk about how big of a gap you were estimating that measurement in because every device has a smallest measure on it and then you're estimating after that in terms of if it lands on either side on your measuring tape. Now what if you had a really good measuring device and you measured this and you found out that it was actually 8.47598 inches. Is this accurate? Probably. Is it precise? It is precise to 0 0.00001 inches, far more precise of a measurement than 8.5. When we talk about precision and accuracy, you often are going to see, let's go to the next page, how about a diagram like this. using the bullseye to compare the difference between accuracy and precision. Now the assumption here is that you are attempting to hit this center of the bullseye, right? This is your goal. That's the correct shot, shall we call it. So for this first target at the top left, because the shots are scattered all over the target, there's low accuracy and low precision. If I was precise, I would have a nice tight um, set of shots, like in the second one. If they're all fairly accurate at the middle, but not a nice tight grouping, I have a high accuracy and low precision. If I get them all inside that bullseye, I have both. 